2.16 in the morning, let's hit the road. Well, we arrive, 4.42. Man, there's a ton of boats here. It's like uh, going through Pirates of the Caribbean right now. Exactly. checking out one of my videos. This is to be a special episode. Excited for this one. I'm out here with D&D Fishing Co. How you guys doing? So we got Dustin here and Devin right there. These guys got a great YouTube channel. We got to get these guys some subscribers. So check it out and follow them. They have high production value, quality videos. Check out this camera he's getting set up right here. So I highly recommend it. They're great fishermen. They'll give you guys good advice. So anyway, today, albacore. I've never caught an albacore before, and that's the plan today. So we're getting stuff set up right now. We got 200 pounds of ice with us in those kill bags. Got my Akuma reel, some pit bull tackle gear. So my first time doing this, like I said, so I'll try and explain to you guys what we're doing out here. I'm learning from these guys. Um, we're getting six to eight rods set up. We'll be trolling about seven miles per hour. We're in Fort Bragg. That's where we launched from. What are we, 30 miles out right now? Yeah, about 30. 30 miles out, water 61 degrees. And what a beautiful morning. We got four foot swells at like 13 seconds and no wind. I brought the grill with me, not on the boat, but excited to get back to land and, and cook one of these up as well too. At least try it up real quick. Uh, Sear it, right? That's not what you're supposed to do with albacore. Sear it, need it raw. So that's what we'll try and do. Getting the lure side on, and we'll start dropping them back. All the lures we're using today are provided from Pitbull Tackle. Different color cedar plugs. What do you call these? Just jigs. Just jigs. All right, jigs. Do you want me to get any of those set up on mine, or you have, what, what, what's yeah. the plan here? I say we'll probably run one cedar off your big bluefin rod. So do the cedar on this one, all right. Yeah, and that'll be your, like our shotgun rod way off the back. Which one do you want to use? I'd say it's probably good. Let's just go the with the good old cedar. wood. Isn't it funny that that's, is this like the most popular albacore it is, by lure far. out there? Interesting. You know, I guess old techniques work. Yeah. I guess so. So check out this reel from Alcuma. I don't want to butcher the name, Makara, Makara. That's the 30 and these are about 20s. You can catch a bluefin tuna with this setup right here. Do you want me to start letting it back or no? Oh yeah, you can. I would probably go just like guess about 200 feet, I'd probably say. It's hard to gauge about about okay. here or more. I'd probably say that's probably doing right there. Okay. So where do we want this set at? So this one we're gonna go. Straight. No, but like drag. Like is that good or? I would go pretty tight. Like that tight? Maybe a little looser. Yeah. Do we want clicker on or no? Yeah. We call one on one of the habits one time. 
Or Almost spooled you? No flicker on. <laughs> I look back, we had like 50 yards of light left. Do you want me to put any of the other ones on this one? Yeah, I'd probably go probably There's kind of more like this too. one and then maybe that one. Let's set that one about 90 feet. I'll go right off the back. Yeah, that's probably good right there. Just put it right here? Yeah. The fish aren't going to take the rods out? No. It'll. I'm a big fan of the Mexican flags. One of those white ones, who knows, it might just, it might go off, you know? Should we to put that on? Yeah. I imagine if they gave me three of these white ones, they must think it works. They probably, they probably work. Well, it doesn't get much cooler than this, we just need to hook one now. Exactly. Alright, where do you want this one? So that one's gonna go in the rod holder next to you. But you see them sometimes like on the surface, like still worth like looking for them? Yeah, so I always look for jumpers. So every once in a while, just like peeking around, scanning. But you will find them. So we got our full spread out now, the five rods you see there, the hand line I just showed you guys, and then there's another rod and reel uh, on the right side of the boat that's not visible at this time. Um, so we're just waiting around for a bite. You can see I get up here to adjust the camera so we can see more. And unfortunately that freezes the camera right here. And just in a few moments, we're gonna get our first bites of the day and it's a double. And yeah, bummer the camera's frozen, but this is the only time that happens. There we go. Yeah, I got you. Oh, double! 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 double. double. You yeah, have it! Yeah. I mean, do I tighten the drag or what do I do? Oh man, nothing like this before. You mark it? Is it worth slowing down for this thing or no? I can't even reel it. Oh man, you sure it's not something else? <laughs> oh my. First tuna, you loving it or what? Yeah, this is crazy. Can't believe how hard it fights. You want me to bring him over to the right side? Yeah. There we go, our first one hooks out. That a boy, Chris. 
Oh yeah. Sweet. That's not a bad one at all. No, that's a nice one. Is that 20 pounds? Yeah. Wow. There we go. Oh, that's a good albacore. All right. Don't go any further. Just let the That's cool. All right. That was fun. It was. All right, so you want to bleed these fish right away. Yep. Look at those gills. Because their bodies are so hot, if you don't bleed them right away, they turn to mush inside their meat. Oh wow. Because their bodies are so hot, so you want to cool them down as quick as you can. So is that, that's 25 pounds maybe, I guess? 20? Really? One was on the Mexican flag and one was on the white one. No digital scale, but. Yeah. 30 pounds. Wow. 30 pounds. Yeah. Stopped right there, right about 30 pounds. Nice. That's a good fish. So we were trolling about an hour and a half. Finally got our hook up, but it was a double. Unfortunately, we lost one of them, but we got one in. 30 pounder. So, you know, being new to albacore fishing, 30 pounds, that's pretty big. I would say, I think average is around 20 pounds or so. So happy to get a big one in. I think uh, I was hard work cranking it in. I'm not used to the fish pulling that hard. A lot of heavy weight on there. I'm happy at least it was a big one. If that was a 15 pounder giving me that trouble, I would have been real worried, but. All right, let's see if we can find some more. I'm sure we can. A couple times throughout the day, the lines got tangled on each other. This is one of them. Devin's working on it right now. And you gotta be careful when you're doing it because the lines are in the water and what if a tuna grabs it while you're holding the line and Devin was carefully untangling it. It's exactly what happened. Oh, God. All right, well, they were just working on some lines that were tangled up. And that was the one that's tangled, that bit? Yeah, that thing almost Oh my gosh. I'll deal with the fish if you guys want. Is this is this one done? Yeah, that one's done. That one go into the. <laughs> Look what it's came out of his mouth. Oh, what do we got here? What is, is that? This? Some squid in there too. Well, that's a little fish of some kind. Maybe squid too. Yeah, that's squid. I would help you. <laughs> So that was in the belly of one of the albacore, a squid. You can see there's its eyes and head right there, its tentacles. So pretty much full length squid about that size. So I guess down deep there, they're eating on little squid. Can we slow down or no? Seal. Oh, it's going th towards them though. Oh. 
damn it. All right, let's do a little check-in. Been out here now, probably trolling what, three hours? Yeah, about. Yeah, a little after 10 o'clock now. Well, we got the two in the boat. We lost two on the radio. We're hearing boats having like one or two, some have zero. We don't hear anyone who's just killing it out here, getting a whole bunch of them. So we feel like we're doing pretty good for what the day's bringing us. It's a pretty big thrill when you're sitting in the boat here and we have the clickers on all the reels. And when you're salmon fishing, you know, sometimes the clicker goes off and it's, you know, click, 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 click. But when one of these goes off, I mean, that clicker is just screaming. I'm not familiar with that sound and I sure like it. I'm ready for it again. So it's a long day of fishing. When you get the opportunity to lay down and take a little break, you're going to do so. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. It's so relaxing <laughs> on this nice weather and I'm just dreaming of when that next bite's going to happen. Fish, fish, fish! Oh, there we go. You want to throw some of those anchovies in? So we finally got one on. It's been a while. I have duties of throwing anchovies in, trying to track some to come up and over. It's already bleeding. That white one again. Uh -huh. It almost seems easier to just grab it. What do you think? Yeah, probably. All right, I'm just gonna grab that leader line and flick it in. Go. Beautiful. <laughs> cool. All right, give you guys a little update. It's about 1.30, 2 o'clock now. Uh, bite seems to be picking up though, not for us. We still have the three, but we're finally hearing fish on the radio getting caught and at a high frequency and a lot of like doubles, triples, quads. Um, we're seeing boats around us now, feeling good about that. Check out this huge giant boat out here. A big party boat. I don't even know what they're doing. I guess maybe they're tuna trolling. But it feels like at any moment here we should get a few more and boy would we love a double or a triple. So when we got closer to the boat we noticed everyone was live bait fishing. The name of the boat is the Intrepid. It's from San Diego, California. When I looked it up I saw they're on an eight-day fishing trip. So they came all the way from San Diego to fish this spot. So we decided to stay around them a little bit. It must be a good one, right? So you've probably noticed by now when we hook up on a fish, we keep driving. That's because we're looking for more to bite, you know, get doubles, triples, quads. That's how you get good numbers of albacore fish. Once a minute goes by, no more, then you'll slow down. Look at that thing, Rip, slow down. So it looks like we got another real good one on because my arm's hurting. If you remember Dustin and Devin, their fish today, they were both smaller and they should just reeled those things in. So my strategy on this is to walk forward while reeling and then walk backwards and then walk forwards while reeling. It's the easiest way for me to get this thing up. big one. Oh yeah. Whew. Heck yeah. Those two fish out here killing them. Oh. These things give you a workout. That's a nice albacore. Oh yeah. That is sick, dude. back out with that So 
they say the uh, the tuna get hot when you fight them. Do they ever talk about the human reeling them in? Because, whoo, it's hot bringing those 30 pounders in. I don't, I don't watch too much. Yeah, I don't watch it. Oh, right there. Could be 20 pounder. Nice. Maybe. Oh, you want to stay where you're at? No. Did it break? It looked like it broke. Yeah. Broke. White glow, yeah. Now just say it again so she can remember it. Say your names. Oh yeah! You want it, mommy? Just, you right. guys get it. White slow down? Yeah, definitely. So that's good. Oh yeah, good. Nice. There we go. That was number six we needed. Of the day. That's all we yeah, that's 20. That's nice. So about 30 minutes ago, we decided to start heading back towards land. It's about 4:30 right now, and in that last 30 minutes, we had three hookups, got two to the boat. That feels amazing because now we got six. We can all bring two home, and that was our goal coming out today. So we're letting this fish cool off right now. Troll for a little bit longer. Probably we're like 61, 62 degrees of water and we'll just keep heading towards shore. And once it gets to about 60, we'll pull them up. Let's see if we can get one more. I remember. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's you, oh, Chris. <laughs> We're not going home. Wreck the underneath the boat. Oh, God, it's a patch of Way bigger now. Yeah. I think it might be the biggest one yet. It's pretty big, yeah. the camera off there saying we're on our way in we'll see if we can get one more biggest one of the day it looks like oh yeah all right well we're heading
heading back again. We'll see if we can get another one. If not, in about 10, 15 minutes, we'll pick them up and head in and I'm ready to go kick up, cook up one of these pieces of the albacore, see how it tastes. We just knew we were gonna get another one. We'll reset the timer for 15 more minutes. Ah, oh, double! Double! Triple! 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 Ah, are you kidding me? Oh, quad! 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 quad. Yes! <laughs> That's what we wanted all day long. <laughs> we have no gas. <laughs> I'm making ground on mine. Okay. Oh my God. Is that one still on over there too? Yeah. Mine's up. We do have a gap in the knees, but... No! Let's grab that one. Oh, shit. Well, nothing like losing the fish and getting the opportunity for another one. That one was small, but I mean, it sucks yeah. still. I'm pretty sure mine's a smaller one again. Oh, there you go. Uh, oh, you get mine's a little. Nope. Yeah, uh, yes. All right, we got him. Scoot in there, I'll lift yeah. him up for you. Let's walk back. Just go down to the swivel, basically. Bring it to me. Oh, big one! Yeah, jump up! Oh. Jump up! Hell yeah. Oh my god. This is freaking crazy. All right, we color. Short one. I'll take the long one's fine. I almost feel like pulling it isn't easier. Just grabbing that line and then I got him. I'm gonna might just try and throw him in there. Insane. You want me to go for it? Grab it. Oh, a good one. Yep. Oh! There we go. End it with a triple? Oh man. Look at the cooler. Look what's in there. Bam, bam. This is amazing. All right, 5.15 we're setting the timer. That's when we're going in. 5.10 right now. So five minutes of working lines. We'll see what happens. All right, it's 5.15, this hot bite. We gotta leave it. Gotta get in. We have a, over an hour drive back to land probably. And remember, I brought the grill. I want to play a little piece off one of these fish here and uh, grill it up real quick, see how it tastes for us. So we'll finish the video once we get back to land. We'll see you guys there. Well, as we're reeling up here, I want to show you the, the baits again we were using, the lures from Pitbull Tackle. This one absolutely killed it today. Tons of bites and fish on that one. We'll have to put some links in the description because I don't know exactly what it's called. <laughs> and then the... Uh, what I was calling the cedar plank earlier, but a cedar plug from Pitbull Tackle. For whatever reason, that one worked really well too. It's funny how they bite wood. Hey guys, we're back on land now. Hopefully you can see me. Only light I can find. So we're gonna do our little cook right there, right by the launch where everyone's pulling out. Excited to try some albacore, man, I'm hungry. 
All right, well, this is the, the smallest one we caught today. We'll take a look at it, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and eat this top portion of it. Skin it. All right, we'll throw the skin out in the river over here. So I've never, never cooked al or albacore. Never had it. Besides, you know, when you get it in the store from a can. But we're gonna want to take this blood off. I'm pretty sure right here. Looks like we got a little bit more. All right, so there's our chunk of meat. I'm just gonna wash it off with some water real quick. So we just cleared that one off there. I don't have uh, any plates or anything, but there's our piece of meat. Man, it looks beautiful. So now we're just gonna salt it, pepper. You're not gonna have seared albacore without some uh, sesame seeds on it, right? Seems like everyone puts those all over it. So that's what we're looking at, our piece of fish right there. Gonna heat it up, just using some sesame oil. So we're doing seared albacore. So that means, you know, we're just gonna cook it lightly on, on all the sides. Looks like we got three sides here. What a fun day I had out there with D&D fishing, Dustin and Devin. I mentioned earlier, these guys, they deserve more for their YouTube channel. They put a lot of hard work in there. Uh, great editing skills, great knowledge of fishing. So remember to check out their channel. All right, let's give it a flip. Got one side done. All right, well, there's the finished product. Now let's we'll go ahead and cut it in some pieces. All right, we're gonna cheat and eat these before they get over here. Wow, that's good. Not the prettiest because I didn't cut it that great, but man, does it taste good. So, what time we meet up today, guys? Five in the morning? Five in the morning. Five in the morning, yep. And what is it now? Almost eight? Yeah. I think it's like 8.30. Yeah, gotta be yeah. close, yeah. It was a long day on the water for 15 sure. hour day together. Yeah. And we cap it off. It was fun. With that. <laughs> that looks delicious. Oh, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Perfect. See, I like it that rare in the center like that. Oh yeah. Great way to end the day, guys. Pleasure fishing with you. Remember checking out their channel, D and D Fishing Co. We're gonna end the video now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up. We'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys.